Hi, Ruth Wilson here. Big psychic hello this evening. And I'm here to talk to you about holding your own, keeping your power when you're with other people. We as sensitives and intuitive people have a tendency to sense all the undercurrents with other people that we're not close to, or maybe we're closer to them than we, we would like to be. Uh, we can under, I, I'm sorry, we can sense undercurrents, we can sense power plays, we can sense what's going on under the, under the surface. And it can really throw you off when you're in a group setting, interacting with people. I'm going to give you tonight some quick energy hacks, some quick tips for dealing with that so that you can stay comfortable, you can stay centered, you can stay in your power and command respect in almost any situation. So um, there's, you could make a whole study out of this, but I'm just gonna give you a few minutes worth of the most important tips. I'm Ruth Wilson, I'm an intuitive coach. That means I use my intuition to help you use your intuitive skills. And those intuitive skills are your magic, your personal magic. And I help you learn to use them so you get more of what you want out of life. So how do you maintain your power? How do you maintain your balance with other people? The first thing is to overcome the sensitive's tendency to send their consciousness out of body at the first sign of trouble. Many of us developed our intuitive skills by growing up in situations where we didn't want to be present and we learned to send our consciousness other places. Great skill to have, but to have power, you need to be in your own body. And so you need to stop yourself in these situations from getting distressed and getting out of balance and getting out of the present moment. It can be really hard to stay in the present, but it's really easy to get there. If you wiggle your fingers and toes right now, you're in your body. You're pretty much in your body if you can finger, if you can feel your fingers and toes. Um, if if that doesn't work, you can do something else physical. A very small gesture will put you physically present in your body. So that's the first step. And then once you're in that body, make sure you're in a good po good straight posture, open posture if possible and maintain balance. Always stay in a balanced uh, posture, seated or standing. Um, being balanced also is much, much helped by being grounded. And being grounded, pretend you have an energy field that connects your tailbone right down to the center of the earth. And I like to ground from the tailbone instead of the feet so that you can use that grounding field to release energies that you no longer want around you. And a little bit more on that later because it's really important to keep your, your energy fairly free of, of interference from others if you wanna stay grounded, powerful, and so forth. So those are the first things, they, they are energetic, practices, but they're really physical too. Um, although the two aren't, you know, the two do go together. So um, make sure you're in your body, you're balanced, you're grounded, good posture, open posture if possible, and um, feeling comfortable as you can, as you can possibly feel. It's also important to have good boundaries. And good boundaries can be a psychological term, but I use it as an energetic term. And I'm talking about your energy field, your personal bubble, your personal space, which is around your body. Um, we know there is an energy field. You, you can pretend that you have an energy field if you don't believe that, although it's pretty much scientifically proven. And pretend that it's about arm's length wide. And you're in a bubble. And on the outside of that bubble, you can imagine that there are thick, transparent, 
um, flexible but strong walls on that energy field. You could just pretend that for the time that you're dealing with people where you, you want to hold your own and maintain your power. Having those good boundaries that can really help because there are people who go around testing other people's boundaries. They'll run up against them. They won't, they won't spend much time with you. Um, I've had a lot of experience with this and, and they usually move along pretty quickly if, if they're the kind of people who are testing boundaries. Um, it can also help if you're in a situation where people are, you know, people are just people, they, they do all kinds of things in groups, but if you're in a group where you really feel vulnerable, then I would also imagine that over that energy field, you allow source energy to just come down from up in heaven and coat your energy field with source energy. So you're protected by the highest energy there is. So that that creates the good boundaries that, and, and I'm convinced that other people can sense them, but even if they can't, you can sense it. I can sense it. I can sense that I'm protected. I'm a different, more powerful person when I feel confident and safe. Um, the reason I said to ground also is because Having a large grounding field from your tailbone into the earth gives you a way to release energies that you no longer need. So if a conversation or people's actions stirs up energies in you that you don't want around you or that make you uncomfortable, you can let those go and just imagine them. Just pretend that they drop down into the center of the earth where they get recycled and they're no longer your problem. Um, the other thing you can do is you can notice if there's a tension, there's a tension in your body, you could just imagine it dissipating, releasing. Maybe it goes off in a puff of smoke, or maybe it slides down your body and goes out through your grounding from your tailbone into the center of the earth. And it's not a problem for you anymore. So these few techniques can make you feel comfortable, safe, powerful, and hold your own with other people. Even if they are powerful, if they're difficult, if they're hard to talk to, um, even, um, you know, any, for any reason, you need to maintain your, your centeredness. These steps can help you do it. Uh, if you're giving a presentation, these steps can help a lot prior to the presentation so that you go into it with all your power. Uh, those of us who are good people, those of us who are working for good in the world, we need to have our power. And we need to, we need to have our power very visibly, I think, in the world. Um, that's Ruth's opinion, but I Hope you will try these things and, and maintain your power with other people. And um, let me know how that works out. Leave me a message. I'd, I'd love to hear if that works for you. I have written a book about this. Um, and I will post a link to it um, before too long. And if you're interested, there, there are many, many, many things you could do um, to deal with oh, toxic work situations or, or um, any group that causes you to lose your balance. So be powerful, be centered, and have a wonderful evening.